What's up everyone? I'm going to show you the first few things that I always change as soon as I get my Xiaomi phone. And the first one that I always do is remove Google Discover. Google Discover, if you didn't know, is when you scroll all the way to the right and you will find Google Discover. It is this page that you can see at the end on the far left of your homepage. Now to do that, just go to your settings app and in your settings app, scroll down to home screen and in home screen just disable google discover which is the second one right there and that is it after that when you go back to your home screen google discover is no longer available in addition to removing google discover i also make sure i remove wallpaper carousel now i have a separate video showing you how to remove wallpaper carousel which works for miui version 12 all the way to hyper os and i've already done it on this device right here so i can't do it anymore but i'll still show you the steps anyway first you go to your settings and in your settings just go to about phone i am now on hyper os so this is going to show you what it looks like on hyper os and in here just tap on storage and inside of storage you just need to wait for it to load so that it gathers all the data capacity and once it's done that just tap on apps and data and inside of apps and data you just scroll down to wallpaper carousel once you find wallpaper carousel which again is not here right now because i've already uninstalled it but say for example i will just choose one app you find wallpaper carousel you tap on it and then tap on uninstall app at the bottom here and it'll uninstall wallpaper carousel and wallpaper carousel is the pictures that keep on rotating at the lock screen i also don't like that so i have it removed every single time the other setting that i always change is also changing the buttons to gestures because i don't like the buttons if you prefer the buttons then that's good for you but if you do like the navigation to be just gestures then you can do this by going to settings inside of settings just scroll down to home screen again and in home screen just scroll down to system navigation inside of system navigation you can choose whether you want it for to be buttons or you want it to be gestures after you set it to gestures it's going to ask if you want to learn how to use it and take you through the steps on how to use and give you a little few trials for you to be able to use it efficiently but i've already done it so mine is not gonna ask me for that anymore and that's system navigation the next on my list is to change the refresh rate. Now, by default, the refresh rate is always set to 60 frames per second or 60 FPS. But in order for the visuals to be more fluid and give you a better experience, it's better to change it to 120 FPS or frames per second, which is a lot faster and a lot more pleasing to the eyes. And to do this, just go to your settings. In settings, you can just search for refresh which i've already typed before and once you see refresh rate you need to just change that to 120 hertz now this of course is gonna use a little bit more battery depending on your usage but for me it's really worth it once it's on 120 frames per second you'll see that your phone looks like it's actually a lot faster and it's more pleasing to use it and the other thing that's also going to make your phone faster, which is a feature that I really love, is to increase the RAM amount. And this will give your phone more random access memory to work with, which means it's going to be a little bit faster with multitasking and general usage in general. So in order to do this, you need to just go to settings, scroll down to additional settings, and inside of additional settings, tap on memory extension. So in memory extension, you can choose whether you want to extend it by 2 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, or 6 gigabytes. This of course depends on how much memory you have left, but phones have a lot of memory these days. And I really think this is worth the sacrifice. So, so I wouldn't mind having less storage to work with, but having a faster phone after all. So that is it. After you change it, then it's going to ask you to reboot in order for it to activate the RAM change and then it's going to be activated. 
so i don't want to reboot mine because i like it on six gigs i was just showing you and you will see that your phone is increasingly faster and much more pleasant to use after this setting has been changed when it comes back it might take a little while to actually start working because it's after a reboot so everything needs to be starting from the beginning again but it works a lot better when this memory is extended and last but not least is to install floating windows now floating windows can be activated by swiping up on your app while you're in it pressing on the app and tapping on the floating window icon on the right and you now have a floating window and with this floating window you can move it around you can tuck it to the right corner and you can also dismiss it but the other way of having floating window is using the little stripe on the left hand and when you swipe on the left you're gonna see a list of apps that you can use in floating windows and all of these apps can be used while you're inside of another app and it's just gonna float around so you can even have multiple windows open at some point if it's supported so you can open the notes app for example and then open whatsapp and now you have two floating windows open at the same time that even if i open a different app like the browser i can have both of these tucked in the corner and i can keep on working on whatever it was that i was working on and they will come back or i can bring them back whenever i need them so let me dismiss them and show you how to use floating windows so in order to use floating windows just go into your settings and again inside of settings scroll all the way down and go into additional settings and inside of additional settings you're gonna see floating windows here in floating windows you're gonna just see the sidebar here and inside of the sidebar settings you can choose to have it show at all times which means whether you're at the home screen whether inside of an app or whichever app it will always show or you can also have it hidden when games are playing you can also have it only show when videos are playing so you can tweak this according to your preference but for me i like to have it always show because i always make use of it and it's a very useful feature you can also change the first 10 apps available so these apps that you see here as the first 10 applications you can change the order you can do that or add more apps if you want and the easiest way to do that is to scroll all the way down on the floating window tap on the small plus at the bottom and in this small plus it's gonna show you the list of apps that are available and also if you press and hold each app you can move them up or down and it's only gonna allow you to do that for the first 10 and after that it's just gonna be random apps at the bottom of the 10 apps and you click done when you're finished and that's it your quick apps are gonna be in the order that you want them to be yeah, so that's pretty much the things that I change all the time with every Xiaomi device that I own. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you tweak your Xiaomi phone and enjoy it a little bit more. Thanks for watching and till next time. Peace.